Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play. My name is Siperos and this is The Terrible Old Man. This short game was developed and published by Cloak and Dagger Games, and even though the game just recently came to Steam about a couple of weeks ago, I believe this has been out for years now, so this is by no means a new game. But anyway, this game is based on one of H.P. Lovecraft's uh, short stories with the same name, The Terrible Old Man. And by short, I mean very short. If you try to search for YouTube videos of people reading the story out loud, like an audiobook, they are usually about 10 minutes long or less, depending on the pace they are reading it. So naturally, the game itself is going to be very short as well, about 20 minutes or so, so we'll be finishing this in one sitting. Don't worry, I'll start another longer adventure game playthrough soon after this one. And while this is my first time playing the game, nor have, I watched, nor have I watched anyone else play this, I do know the original short story, so I know what's going to happen, and thus this is not a blind let's play in that sense. But hey, I like Lovecraftian stories and games inspired or based on them, so of course I got to play this. And with that, without further ado, let's start the game. New game. Looks like we're in a tavern of some sort. So Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? Am I supposed to click? Okay, good. I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long we stay in there for? Oh, I would say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. Ah, good old Arkham. And these are not very pleasant looking people. They're actually quite ugly looking, to be honest. That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? The one in the red? Incredible. Zanek is that his name. Zanek, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will, maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You have still got some cash from the old broad the other, the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual here spend, spends it on hooch than, than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Left click to interact, right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move cursor to top of screen. Okay, guess we are ready. So that's our inventory, cash, car key, okay. It's some news clippings about an incident at the local port. They are from an they are from a paper called the Kingsport uh, Buckle. No, I can take a closer look at them. Okay. Uh, portrait. The picture has a caption: "A local Kingsport fisherman." More pictures. Even though, even though, oh, you mean those pictures? I thought, I thought that, I thought that he was going to look at that blank, uh, looking canvas on the wall. There's nothing interesting there now. Nah, here, just dusty pictures of local ghouls. And more pictures. They have tried to decorate this dump with some old prints, curtains. I don't want to look outside. Um, okay. Well, I guess we talk to this woman first. This woman in red. Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Well, that's not very nice. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. 
Go conversate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Ha! Struck out again, Sonic. Suit yourself. Well, so much from that. Okay, and then we gotta pick up some beer from this guy, I think. Couple of men. This guy looks like my cousin, Peter. But cousin Peter, he ain't. Some local goon. Okay. Bar. They got a, they got a decent selection here. Some good hooch. He's gonna kick our asses out the door if I start helping myself, as much as I would like to. I would guess this might be the owner of this here est establishment. He's been giving us the look over since we walked in the door. Maybe because you guys look so suspicious. Well, let's talk to him. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me the, just give me some beers. Well, aren't, aren't we rude? Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Okay, so we just give him the money. Two dollars, right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the bar barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. Huh. <sighs> Dicky eating his dinner yet? Oh my god, look at look at his face. He certainly looks like he's from Innsmouth. I swear, we sat a whole we sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You taking him to Dark Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well he's only been acting strange since his run in with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town. Pays for his groceries in golden doubloons. I have heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I hear he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's as if he is speaking to his old crew. Yeah, a most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach, Dicky. A bit of respect. So what happened was Dicky threw a stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Something tells me that he did not just give him a talking. Dicky won't talk about what, what happened exactly. Or what exactly happened. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and, well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I have told him he is not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. So he's grounded. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east, uncountable years back, and bought back untold treasures. You mean brought back untold treasures, not bought them. Yeah, it seems like there's some typos here and there. Sorry about the wait, here's your beers. Thanks. There we go. Boys, you are not gonna believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town, so rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, 
He's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. Haha, <laughs> this sounds like a, like a shinch. Whatever that means. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Sanek. Find out and we may find riches tonight. Okay. So I guess I should go and talk to those two. Should I pick up one of one of my peers? I got a job to do first. Well, okay, fine. Ah, oh, that's Silva and Ricky. Manuel Silva. The man's built like a damn brick wall. A useful man to have around. Intimidation is his game. And Ricky. Angelo Ricky. He calls the shots in our little gang. The man's the size of a cockroach, but he's got a temper. Alright, well let's talk to these two, I suppose. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. Ah, now we got some dialogue options. Where does the old man live? Well, let's not go there uh, immediately. It might be suspicious. You said something about bottles. What else do you, what, what else you know about him? You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, a suburb of Boston. City boy, huh? A, co a cosmopolitan type. Whatever that means. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. So, you said something about bottles. Sometimes people see him through his window with a, with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle has some sort of, op of object inside. Pendulums, some say, and he's been seen to chat to them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind, too much time at sea. He was a sea captain? Yes, though back in a time nobody remembers. Rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. Some say he talks to the bottles as if they were his crewmates. Hmm. Maybe we could now ask this. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I would venture. What's the address? Oh, you are thinking of visiting him, are you? You could say that. Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? There's another word for treasure hunters like these. Burglars. Hmm. Should we just... Should we just, uh, joke around and say yes? Yeah, sure, let's say yes. Yes, you could say that. Get out of here, you bum! We don't want no thieves stinking up our town. Yeah, get out of here before I get the town guard. Oh, okay. <laughs> they didn't take that... They didn't take that as I was imagining or hoping they would. They took it too seriously. No, no, I mean, well, yes, I appreciate treasures, like every other man out there. I have no intention of robbing the old goat. Well then, why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Mm, damn it. Uh, we are traveling salesmen. We wish to we wish to interview him for the local paper, but we also but we told him that we are from Boston, so they would not buy this. We are his long lost relatives. It, uh, yeah, th this is an obvious obvious lie because they didn't tell us his name. We found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. We are from the tax department. He owns us money. Hmm. I think that traveling salesman would be more uh, convincing. We are traveling salesmen. Oh yes, what are you selling? 
Shoes. Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Oh god damn it. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You are full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Yeah, this is not going well at all. Can we try it again? Hello again? Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? Okay. Hmm. They're not going to buy this, are they? I'm going to try it anyway. We are his long, lo we are his long lost relatives. You, ex you expect us to believe that? You are clearly not of Kingsport stock. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, we found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. What's the item? An old ornament. Let's have a look then. Um, it's out in the car. Bold dust. Get out of here. Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. They're not going to believe this, but I'm going to say this anyway, just to see the reaction. We wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper then? The Telegraph, The Times, The Kingsport Commune, The Kingsport Burkle. Oh yeah, we read this uh, from here. The Kingsport Burkle. Huh, that old rack hasn't been printed for years. Oh, damn it. Lies, lies, and more lies. Damn it. I wonder if any of those would have been the right answer. Well, how about this? We are from the tax department. He owes us money. Then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Oh, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> okay, uh... We have tried all of these, ha haven't we? Looks like this is the only option that we can actually use to convince them. Okay. Hmm. The Kingsport Commune? Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar. God damn it. Hmm. Let's try this again, shall we? How about the telegraph? Wrong. Yeah, yeah, we are a liar. We are a liar, indeed. Let's see. Well, well, there's only one last option. The times. Wrong. You, sir, are, are a pathological liar. Indeed we are. So did we screw up? Or did I screw up? Mm. We found something that belongs to him. I wish to return it. Um... Later. Right. So maybe we have to... I might have to re reload the game. Maybe I should have just said that no, we are not treasure hunters or anything like that. Hmm. They have tried to decorate this town with some old prints, okay. Anything up here? Just some old postal cards put in frames. Kingsport, Kingsport, Burkle, yeah, that's where I read that from. And these pictures. Hmm. That's one mighty fine looking broad. What she is doing in this, uh, in this pit of a town, I do not know. Does she want to talk at all? Do you know anything about a rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you are back again. Tong... Uh, what? Tong Huan doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? Tong Huan, I... I don't know that reference. I'm a very persistent man, ma'am. I don't know the old man. You are lying. Everybody must know him. 
Leave me alone. God damn it. Hmm. We only have the car key. We can't leave, can we? No, we can't. We can't go and pick up something from our car or something. How about the barman? Do you know about the rich old man who lives in town? What can you tell me about those two guys at the bar? What can you tell me about that broad over there? Well, let's ask this first. She's in here working all the time. Does it look like she's up too much? What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Well, might as well ask. So, do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pa. Well, can you tell us anything about those two guys at the bar? Hey, we are right here. Oh, they can actually hear us. Well, of course they can, but I didn't actually think that they would actually... Well, you know, hear because it's a video game. Mind your own business, stranger. Damn it. What he said? Later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Well, let's ask her about her work. Not you again, I'm busy. Yeah, what you working on? Apart from looking pretty. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah? What is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Now, get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay. Put your knickers back on, lady. Okay. Now we can convince these two. So, uh... Interview... And... The Kingsport Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. What? It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street, near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. There we go. Fellas, I got the address. Good work, Jenny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's a treasure to be had. And there we go. <laughs> no offense to the, no offense to the developer, but damn, these guys look ugly. All right, we are here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I will go in through this here gate. Sanek, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there is a, a light up, light on up there. Sanek, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Uh, okay. I can see what's in the window. I got a spy. I got a spy glass someplace. Uh, it's not time to go yet. Well, yeah, but can you check inside? We didn't pay a dime for this classy ride. Some old cutcher back up in Arkham is probably still cursing us for swiping it. So you stole this car. Okay, that's that's nice, isn't it? Street lamp. The street light is lighting us up on the whole goddamned world. We should move quickly tonight. Well, we could try climbing over using that street pole, but the gate seems a more uh, conventional choice. Yes, yeah, they usually tend to be. 
trunk. Ah, oh, there we go. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Well, you have this, don't you? Doesn't fit. This key is just for the ignition. Uh, okay. Guys, do you have a key for the trunk? Say, Ricky, you don't have the key for trunk on you, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you have lost the goddamned key, Sonic. No, no. No, of course not. What do you think of this place? Where do you think those... Where do you think those standing stones are from? Uh, what stones? It's kinda hard to tell with these graphics. Do you have the key for the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, but before we continue, let's... Thanks for the key. No sweat. Oh, God damn it! I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to ask about the other things. Okay, so these are the stones, okay. Well, they are still behind the wall, so I so we can't really see them in their in their entirety. The stones or the stones are on the other side of this wall. I ain't going in there. He's got a bunch of weird standing stones in his garden. The patterns are not like anything I have ever seen. Maybe they are from overseas someplace. So we can't actually talk to him. But then again, he most likely uh, wouldn't have had anything interesting to say anyway. Okay, a good dropper always comes prepared. We got a spy glass, a crowbar, and some sn and some masks. I was about to say snacks. So did you pick them all up? Yes, you did. So, so masks, spike glass, and a crowbar. Okay. So, do you guys want the masks? I'm not gonna stand out here with that thing on. See what the old man is doing first. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, what is he doing? Okay, there he is with his precious bottles. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, Sonic. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. You got our masks then? Yup. Here you go. Here's the masks. Okay, get that gate open. Okay, and for that I believe we are supposed to use the crowbar. Ha! We are in. Good work, Sonic. Okay, Silva. Let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too... Loc... Locusius? I don't know what that word means. Uh, concerning his treasures, we may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silva, you have hit the nail on the head. Sonic, wait for us in the car. We should, we should be back in an hour, at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Remember, be gentle. Okay, and then we just... Wait. Oh, the lights, lights went off. One hour later. What the hell is taking them so long? Oh, that doesn't sound very good at all. What's happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them, I told them I, I said don't go too hard on the old goat. 
Ah, huh. here they come. Or not, it's the old man. Oh crap. What is he gonna do? Oh. He looks... Terrifying. Pretty much how I imagined him to look like. And... Th little there's the corpses. Things make considerable excitement in little towns. Which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Yeah, it looks like this story is ending with the exact same words as the original short story. And that's the end of the game, folks, and yeah. The story was exactly like the short story, based on the story by H.P. Lovecraft, adaptation and program by... Uh, I could... Okay, don't let me read those out loud. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Oh, they got a Patreon. Okay. And thanks to you for playing. Well, thanks for letting me play it. We hope you enjoyed. Well, it was short but sweet. Hmm? Now what? A new adventure. Ah, oh, is this their ad for their new upcoming game? Coming 2020. Okay. I wonder what their new game is about. Ready thy wish list. You know, I just might add it to my wish list once I learn more about the game. And that was that, folks. And we get back to... <coughs> excuse me. And we're getting back to the title screen here. Oh, that's the boy who threw the rock. At, uh, to the old man's window. Hmm, okay. So, that was a terrible old man. It was a... It was a fun game. Followed the short story pretty much exactly. It's such a shame, though, that we couldn't see what was actually happening in the house. I mean, how could the old man overpower two younger and stronger goons? Or at least they were supposed to be stronger, but... But the old man is not exactly a normal old man, obviously, but still. It's kind of shame that we couldn't uh, see it. But then again, in the short story, it was not it was not described that what happened exactly. But hey, it was a good adaptation and a faithful one, too. And with that, I'm gonna end this short Let's Play here. So, thank you for watching my playthrough of The Terrible Old Man, and see you next time in a new and longer adventure.